What does Bard do? Yeah, it's it changes the relationships of connective tissue. It changes the tensions of connective tissue. So if your structures are held in tension, then other things are compensating. If I lift my shoulder, I compensate into my other shoulder. If I push my shoulders forward, I affect the way that my neck and head sit on the upper part of my body. And therefore, it affects my breathing. So everything that we do has a cause and effect. If we understand that everything is connected to everything else, and I'm not just talking, so I'm not talking about sort of a, a world Buddhist view, I'm talking about connective tissue. There is not one bit of your body that is not connected to another bit of your body, both externally and internally. That, we can't argue with that. So if I impact on the position of my body, I change the way that it behaves, and I have to hold it in that position, yeah, in order to be able to then maintain my function. So my tensions increase. It's like twisting a shirt. If I twist my shirt here, if I twist my shirt here, I can see that I've got strains issuing up into my shoulder. I've got strains of the material issuing around into my rib cage. I have strains of material issuing down into my uh, hip and buttock and lower back and leg. Connective tissue is no different, no different at all. If I damage it, if I scar it, if I cut it, it will bind together. It's collagen. It's the basis of our human structure. It's the most common protein in the body. Only up to 40% of our proteins are collagen, collagen fibers. Collagen is to humans what cellulose is to plants. So we are totally reliant on our collagen lay down. What's fascia made from? Made from collagen. All fascia is connective tissue, not all connective tissue is fascia. So when we apply a Bowen move, we do not need to apply massive pressure to a structure that is already wound tight. These fascial fibers are wound tight. They're a triple helix, wrapped around a triple helix, hollow in the center, under a huge amount of tension. So a human being is a lot like a slinky. Is that a slinky? Human beings, Selena, you're very much like a slinky. Yeah. Essentially useless, but fun to watch pushing you downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that. Yeah? And it creates its own momental energy as it moves. The energy is created by its momentum, in very much the same way as human tissue is as well. So the tension is there, it's wound tightly. How much pressure do you need to apply to a slinky to unwind it? Now, how tightly can it be bound? We do not need to put much pressure on this stuff for it to change. It's very, very gentle. We're already tightly bound. Yeah? So what Bowen does is it changes and addresses the tensional relationships of connective tissue. Does it address muscle? Absolutely, because muscle is bound up in connective tissue. Muscle isn't connective tissue by itself. Does it affect bone? Well, bones only exist in the basis of the relationship to connective tissue. A bone is held in place by the connective tissue that connects it to another bone, not by anything else. There is no skeleton. A skeleton doesn't exist except for the connective tissue that holds it in place. Soft connective tissue. Tension relationship, iliotibial band, goes over the joint of the knee, down to the underside of the knee. If I change the tensions above it, I change the tensions below it, Therefore, I change the joints. You see this in daily practice. Bowen changes the tension and relationships of connective tissue. Gently. Give it time. Take your hands off. But that's the brakes, and we'll do that another time.